a friend was smashing tiles one day in her garage and she said, come along and help me put together this little garden mural. And I, had, I found great joy in that. Art was something I was always good at. Apart, you know, I was brought up with Italian parents and we lived a very simple life and there was never any extra money to do any extra curriculum. So art was something I gravitated to, it's something I was a way to escape all the drudgery. I, I, I sewed for a living, I worked for the ballet for nearly eight years. When I decided to leave the ballet and have my first child, I thought I'll go off, I'll do a short course in all the technical. I had all the art experience, so that's when the mosaic started. I learned about cements and tiles and how to cut tiles and, and it just progressed from there. Inspiration's everywhere. You look at a flower and you think, oh wow, how good would that be? Especially when you look at all the details. And you know with mosaic, in order to capture all those details in something that's really quite tiny, you need to blow it up. I don't let my mosaics be dictated by little squares. I, I find that really tedious. So I make the whatever area, if it's a sphere, you want, you want the little squares to look like they're a circle. You want to capture that movement. My work's very intricate and it's the only way I can achieve it is to be quite, sometimes I'm quite pedantic about chipping a millimetre off. I set myself a challenge of reproducing Gustav Klimt's The Kiss. His work really lends itself to mosaic. All the gold and colour in that piece is just exquisite. It took me nearly two years to complete and a friend put it in his shop for me and it sold three weeks later. <laughs> so that was, to me, that was a sign that this was the right path I should choose and I've pursued it ever since. The mosaic is just for me. I, when I'm breaking those tiles and putting those pieces together, I forget about everything else. I forget about all the things I have to do and this is something I want to do. And it, that brings a lot of joy. It sort of, it, it sort of fulfills your soul a bit. The next thing I need to create would be the island bench in my kitchen. <laughs> I've done some really lovely pieces for other people and I thought I've never really done a piece for myself. What I love about it is its longevity. It's, it's going to be on the planet for a long time. If it's made properly, it's, it'll be here forever. I like the thought of practical art. You can walk on it and you can, it can be a wall. It can, you know, you can eat off it. It's one way of making the planet a little bit more beautiful. Mm -hmm.